What is going on boys and girls, it is Giulini back here with another video and today we are going back with the Wonder Kid Trio because, well, it's one of my favourite series to do because I love playing with these guys. Um, that sounds weird. Anyway, the three players we're going for, you can see them on the thumbnail and you'll be able to see them on the screen now. Andre Christensen from Bristol Munch and Gladbach, Sal Nuguez from Atletico Madrid and Casper Dalbo from Ajax. Three brilliant Wonder Kids that are just... At the minute, the young point of well, they they their starting point of their career, so you just can't wait to see how well they do. Should we put the, let's put the squad around them? Let's get the squad. But me in goal, we go for the 87. See, man of the match, Jan Sommer, 89 diving, 90 reflexes, 88 handling, 89 kicking, and 88 positioning. Fair enough, he's six foot tall, but he's only 20k. That's all he costs is 20,000 coins. That's just stupid. How good that is. Right back, we go for the team of the season. Fernandez, 86 pace, 86 dribbling, 70 shooting, 87 defending, 85 uh, passing, and 88 physical. Looks like a monster, a bit of a FIFA legend. And then we go for Naldo, the not the not the good Naldo, the shit Naldo. 54 pace, 78 defending, and 74 physical. He's there for chemistry, and it's a good reason he's there for chemistry because the team with him would be like it just looks sick with him in there. Left back, we go for Vent, uh, getting a strong link, obviously to. Um, Christensen, 78 pace, 79 dribbling, 76 defending, uh, 71 physical, 78 passing, ain't too bad. Um, but let's drop over to Christensen, shall we? His card this year doesn't look incredible. 66 pace, 80 defending, 68 physical. Looks really average. Bearing in mind this guy's only 20 years old. He just turned 20 this year, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Just turned 20 this year. He's got a potential of 88. He has potential of 88, which is ridiculous. All Actually, before I get into it, all three of these players have an 88 potential. Which just is just crazy to think how well these guys can, how good these guys can actually become. First thing to be able to go for is Kabore, the, um, I think that's the AFCON man in the match card. 75 pace, 78 dribbling, 70 shooting, 82 defending, 80 passing, and 84 physical. Very nice all rounder. More of a defensive. Six foot tall as well, so can't complain about that. And we've got in the middle, we go for Koke. Don't need the perfect name, but we went for it in there anyway. 71 pace, 82 dribbling, 75 shooting, 85 passing, and 74 physical. He's just a tank. And then we go for the second one to keep. We go for Saul. 75 pace, 84 dribbling, 70 shooting, 80 defending, 80 passing, and 79 physical. Just give that one more physical. Triple stat would have been lovely. 5 foot 11, medium high work rates, and like I said, an 88 potential off his 80 base card that he does start off with. Obviously, he got himself an informed couple of weeks ago I believe. Left forward we go for Munayin, 84 base, 85 dribbling, 80 shooting and 78 uh, passing with the five, uh, sorry, four star skill moves and uh, cutting in on his right foot. Right forward we actually go for another wonder kid but who doesn't have a video on him, it's Bertrand Traore from Chelsea on loan to Ajax. It's 89 pace, 86 dribbling, 85 shooting, 83 passing and 80 physical, 5 foot 11, medium low work rates and obviously the four star skill moves and cutting on on his left hand side to the right, right on the right hand side to his left hand, left foot. You know what I'm about. He cuts in basically. And then finally we finish off the team with Casper Dolberg. 80 pace, 85 dribbling, 86 shooting and 80 physical. 6 foot 1, medium medium white crates. And he is just 18 years old. He started this year as a 68 rated card. His potential is 88 rated. Which just, that is just crazy. I missed that uh, Saul's age. He's actually 21. Um, nearly 23. No, 22 sorry. He's nearly 23. Um, so, you know, they're all real. They're all still their beginning part of their careers but um enough talking let's go get an opponent let's go get let's go show off these guys let's go let's go get the opponent right boys opponent number one and he has got a mad side he's got diego alvarez 86 informing net carver howe team of the season fernandez team of the season marquinhos maxwell team of the season sigerson 86 deli alley 88 um team of the group stage casemiro willian 86 Benteke, and the 89 player of the month um human son so this team is gonna be a big threat because that is a ridiculous team but let's get into it and let's show off these boys. Let's show off the kids and see how well they play. Oh, Sal's through. What a volley and what a finish. Took him nine minutes to get from midfield up into the scoring position. And that was a great bit of play between him and I think it was Munayin. Um, if I'm right, a little one-two. Holds up the ball nicely. Dings it over the centre-back. He just doesn't even take a touch and just volleys that on the half. Back in the net, 1-0. Munayin rode the challenge brilliantly. That's unlucky I couldn't get a goal with Dolberg. 
I'm not taking it with Delbo because he's really tall. We'll take it with. We we'll go Koke. And it goes. Bertrand! How did he not score? The keeper wasn't even in the net. Oh, he did the same as what I did. Ah, he chipped it over. Benteke takes the touch. And levers that into the back of the net. 21 minutes played, 1 all. Oh, Benteke, he's just made it 2 1 four minutes later. He is such a monster, this guy. Ridiculous striker. Damn, I'm 2 1 down already. Oh, Munayin, what a little beast. Oh my god, put the ball away. Fuck's sake. This guy, Munayin, I told you, he's incredible. He's like 14k. Go and try him. Yes! Fernandez! I thought that was uh, Dolberg. Fernandez stole his goal, little shit. They both went for it. What a great header, though. Back of the net, 2 all. Oh, Benteke's got a hat trick. I hate him. <laughs> he's so good. That's only his 86 card. It's not as high as rated one. Oh, he's trumped it. Yes, what a save. Oh, come on. He's got another one. Fuck you, Benteke. He's just too tall. That's what he is. He's just tall and strong. And he's got two headed goals and two with his feet. Then again, I have played these games in Division 2, so I should expect a tough opponents. And that was the last kick of the game. It is half time 4 2. Look at that, like 9 shots, 5 in target, 87% passing, 7-7 seven, seven, and 86 in. Pretty even, it is an even game. But let's uh, let's find out what's going to happen in the second half. Hopefully, we come out with the win and keep Benteke away from my goal. I didn't let Benteke near my goal, I let Hyunmin Sun within 4 minutes. That just opened up him there. My defence was just empty. And when Sun's in that space, it's just going to punish. Oh, that was beautiful football. Ike Munayin. That was a lovely team goal. Instant response from kickoff. It was a bit like John Flanagan. 5-3. That's not, not as bad. Let's keep it going. Oh my god, when he actually just saved us there. And then Sigerson just gets a fucking bobbly goal to the back of the net. I need to stop playing these games in Division 2 and 3. Oh, Kasper Dahlberg! Literally instant reply makes it 6-4. What is this game, man? 10 goals and it's not even 60 minutes played. Oh, Hyunmin's son is just so fucking overpowered. Can't stand him. End of the game, 7-4 loss. Yes, we got battered. But I I, I think we played really well. I, I enjoyed that game. When I got man and match, one goal and two assists. Dolberg, Saul and Fernandez all joined in with the goals. Um, but the end stats, they were pretty even. They, they, you know, 7-4 is definitely a wrong scoreline, to be honest. But when you've got Benteke, you can't complain. Let's get into the second game, shall we? Right, boys, game at number two. And we come up against uh, an equally OP squad in the sense of the players it's got. Butler, Moreno, Smalling, Boye and Walker. Uh, Ericsson, Kante, Dembele. Dembele again, or Bomiang and the 89 Sun. Oh... Can I just have a game where I don't come up against some, please? Can't stand him. Hopefully, we'll come out of this game with the win. Repping Old Trafford, like always. Kasper Dolberg. He's through. He scored 1-0. Very, very nice goal. A lovely bit of team play as well. Um, It's been very even in the first 20 minutes so far, but I think that goal is definitely going to Definitely gonna liven this thing up.
Lovely bit of team play, a nice bit of dribbling and a great pass by Birch and Troy Rowe and it's just a top finish into the bottom corner. Oh, that was a fucking stupid mistake to make. Gabe Aubameyang in the ball and he punishes. He punishes. This guy's so cocky as well. Like, I just like, on the ball, he just feels like he. It feels like he thinks he's the best in the world. But yeah, I'm confident we can still put it back and win. Exactly my point to go and pull it back. To two one with about two minutes. Tell him to calm down because he's probably raging because he's gone straight down. But that was a great bit of play between Dolberg and Munain and a fucking amazing finish by Bertrand Traore. Take that two one. Oh wow, he rage quit. That is brilliant. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant. Let's get into a third game. <laughs> that is absolutely brilliant. Let's get a third opponent. Right, boys, and opponent number three. He's got a legend. He's got a legend Shiro. I think that's the first time I've ever come up against him. But he's got the 86 Inform Schmeichel, Walker, Bailly, Louise, Shaw, Inform Herrera, Adrissigana Gay, uh, Torre, Man of the Match, Walcott, and Martial as well. Very good team. Very nice, uh, solid Premier League team. Um, but let's see if we can beat him, basically. I don't know what happened there, but he tramps it. He's tramped it a little shit, but I really don't know what happened there. I, I do not know what happened there between in the midfield, but he's going to watch here open it into the net. Three minutes in, one nil down. Oh, that's what a goal, Alan Shearer. What a fucking volley. I thought he fucked up then. What an insane finish. Moraine, easy finish within like a minute of kickoff. He is there. I know he's not included, like he's not the main focus of the video, but I think he's actually the best player in the team. Absolutely insane. 2-1, 13 minutes played. Oh, the pass didn't come off for Troy nor did the shot. Unlucky. Oh, Casper's away. He hasn't got the pace, but he's got the strength. Oh, he's not going to finish, but Manoyan gets the rebound. Yes, 2 all. Completely turned it around. I'm annoyed I didn't get the goal with uh, Dolberg, because obviously, feature player, but he did brilliantly. Unlucky hit the post, and Manoyan just stabs it into the back of the net. Two all no one could bring it back. Oh Dolberg again just can't get the goal. Kabore. Oh, out for a corner. I thought he scored then. Oh, counter attack. Munain hat trick. Munain hat trick. What a beast. Proper end to end football there for about 10 minutes, and that was just insane. Corner to me, corner to him. He hits both posts. We just hit a breakaway, and we managed to get ourselves a third goal for Munayin and a third goal for the team, putting us 3 2 up in the 40th minute, which is insane. Half time 3 2 up. Turned it around nicely. But I think we deserve we deserve this win. Oh, well, lead, sorry, because nine shots, seven on target. He's at six and five. We've had fifty six percent possession, so a bit more dominant. And then passing is eighty six to seventy two. So uh, just rage quit. I don't think I will. Thank you. Let's get into second half and let's get the win. Let's keep this win. Oh, for God's sake, Munain is just too good, man. Four goals in this game. He is absolutely ridiculous. Look at the, the the run was incredible. The touch, the finish, he's insane. Four two. For sorry for Dolberg, he's been overshadowed like no tomorrow. The pace of Walcott has got him a goal back. A very nice chipped finish. Uh, beat my defence. Like his pace is mental, so I, I can't. 
deny his pace and it's just a top chip finish into the uh, pass keeper can't can't dispute that to be honest Bertrand oh what a finish that was an insane finish another Chelsea youngster it's just a beast Nice bit of one-two play between him and Dolberg. Through in space. Keeper came out. It just finesses that past him nicely. 5-3. Dolberg. Oh, he still can't score. What is going on? Why can't I score with Dolberg? He's had five shots and got nothing from it. Six shots and nothing from it. Okay, maybe it does. David Luiz runs through, gets the ball to walk up. An annoying little goal to concede, to be honest, but we're still winning. 5 4. You don't need to watch Walcott walking back to the spot. I will take that 5 4 win. Yes, Casper Dolberg did, did not get himself a goal, but he did end up with two assists. Yeah, two assists, though. But then Muno ain't got four goals, so you can't complain about that. But that has been the video, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed. These boys are incredible, and they're going to be, you know, amazing when they're a little bit older and into their prime. Um, as always, links down to Twitter and Instagram in the description below. Go down there, drop a follow, drop a like on the video, drop a sub if you're new around here. But until next time, guys, have an awesome day. I shall see you all later. Bye.